Oh my goodness, do y'all see that? Do you see that? All right, today is Friday. I just got off work. Hunter called me up and he's got an early 1900s house. And uh, so I came up here to meet him. But he's been out detecting earlier this morning and he has got something really, really good. And I'm glad he got one. And uh, I'm not going to give it away. I just got here on location. He's sitting right over here on a wall. So let's go over there and let's see what he's got and we'll reveal it together. Well. All right, man. We are on location here. So, Hunter, tell me what you got, man. What happened? Well, I was swinging over in a bunch of trash and uh, a bunch of high tones that were smashed cans and stuff like that and uh it's kind of lax a days of digging and i had a good like 36 37 and i turned the plug over and i saw a nice reeded edge kind of like that right there oh man and i said well i hope it's not going to be some sort of play money or something but got me a nice oh. silver morgan look at that guys you didn't nick it. That's been hit with a mower, hasn't it? That's what I'm thinking. All the edges are really uh, tarnished. like. Oh, this is fake. It's not real. Okay. No, it says copy right there. See it? No, I'm messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing with you. Well, that'd be about right. <laughs> no, check that out. That is an 18... What is it? 1880? 1880. 1880. I wonder if that's a key mint mark. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, that thing's gotten hit with a mower. Yeah, with the... Way it's double hit like that. Yeah, it's been hit with a mower, but man, this is what they call a 25 year coin. A 25 year coin because they say it takes a detectorist 25 years to get one of them. And you got a Morgan. That's you got awesome. a Morgan. Let me get your picture right there. Yeah, man. Congratulations uh, you. that you got that. That is just amazing. So what did you feel like when you popped it out and you saw that it wasn't a can, it was a good reeded edge, and it's a beautiful toning on it as well? Uh, I started my own video because I was like, man. Wow, like, that is so cool, man. I got the look in and it was, it, wasn't, it was just shiny enough for you to think it's real but not fake, you know. So. Yeah, how deep was it? Uh, about two or three inches. Two or three inches. Got you a barber cache. Now you got you a Morgan dollar. That's awesome. Man, and here we are on this house. Do you know the history on this house? What year it was built? Uh, Texas said 1938. 1938. It's definitely going to get some, um, probably some merch out of it, perhaps, and uh, maybe some relics. So let's get to swing and let's see what we can find. All right, we're going to be hunting in uh, just what I call my default park one, multiple frequency. Um, we're going to uh, see what our sensitivity at 20 we'll just leave it right there and so we're really ready to go it's gonna be a little loud we're right here on the side of the road and uh, this is the big house that we're doing today hopefully we'll get something so let's get to swing and see what we can find well hunter's calling me over we haven't been out here maybe 10 minutes and uh, i don't know what he's got yet so let's see what he's got hey you know what that is don't you that's a good sign even though it's a 1930s house, you say? But there's an Indian head in here. Yeah. Oh, what I year is that? It, I taste it around. It looks like maybe a 1900. Here we go. Let's flip it around this way. Yeah, there it is. I can't see because of sun glare, but maybe you guys can see on camera. All right, that's a good sign. I love digging Indians, man. Yeah, it's my favorite. All right, there you go. What did it ring up? 22, 21? 1820. 1820, all right. Let's keep swinging and see what else we can get. Well, I'm working this side of the yard. Hunter's over on that side of the yard. We always say whoever has the permission gets the choice of which side of the sidewalk. He chose that side. I went over here and uh, just dug a zinc penny, think it was gonna be an Indian head, and got over here and got something that's just an inch under the ground. So I didn't live dig it because it's just so shallow. I just thought, hey, I'm gonna dig every single one. But check out what it is. There it is. Check it. That's how deep it was right there. Check that out. That's going to be an Indian head. Two Indian heads already out of this uh, out of this yard. And this one is very, very shallow. I think this property's older. Let me clean it up here. Let me see if we can get a date on it. 
Um, let me get out of the sun glare. Let's see if we can date that. Can y'all tell what that is? Maybe in the sun? Let me get in the sun here. I can't tell. But I'm sure I'll know by the time you watch this, I'll put the date up there. Hey, Indian head, bringing like a, up a, like a 2021. 20, All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging. Getting a good hot tone here, six inches deep. All right, let's see if we can live dig it. Right here on the, right on the edge of the road. So let's see if we can. Maybe it's not going to be a modern dime. Hopefully it's going to be a Merc. Maybe. Who knows? All right, it's still down there. I need a new pinpointer. Anybody want to buy me one? There we go. Right down there. It's got the depth. Let's just see if it's got the color. Still down there. Oh, I feel it. I don't know. I don't think it's a dime. It's something bigger. It's going to be a tin lid. That's still, that's a, that's a good sign that there's some old stuff in here. All right, let's keep going. Maybe next one's going to be a dime. Can y'all see that? I don't know if you can see it. Let's... Well, I lost it. Right there. A high or a nickel tone? It's 11, 12, 13, and 8 inches deep. Bringing up a 12. Let's see if this is going to be a V nickel. Go live, dig it. Let's see if it's going to be a V nickel. Let's hope it is. Got two Indian heads off of here already. We're into the 1800s. So this very well could be. It's got that deep signal sound. I missed it here. I've been digging pull tabs out of here too. So. I can't hear anything with that road. Alright, so it's going to be a nickel. And it is going to be a V nickel. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. See if I can read the date for you. Yeah, hang around. <laughs> Switch hands here. Let's see which way she's going. Now, I knew it had that. Uh, it had that sound on it, and it had the depth. That's what we're looking for. It's got a little crusty on the back here. I'll just leave that, and clean it up later. That's Put your eyes on it, man, and let me see. Should be right there at the bottom. Nineteen ten. Well, just to get in there, two more years we'll be into buffaloes. Three more years. Ah, awesome. oh, let's get a picture. Let's keep swinging. They're gonna be in here. There's got to be a silver, big silver out here for me. I can get a little bit better picture of the house. Uh, we're on the very old street here in town, where a lot of the early 1900s homes are. Even though this is dated as a 1938 uh, house, I just talked to the landowner. Uh, I think uh, there might have been something here earlier because there's a, a rock wall right here which dates probably around the 30s. Most of the, the work here in the U.S. on rock walls around the 30s. But um, I, did, I did the house across the street over there and I found an 1800s Indian head over there as well. So uh, there could have been a house here before this house and that's why we're getting uh, these coins in the 1800s and early 1900s rather than 1930s and 40s. All right, let's keep swinging, see if we can get a silver now. We've got the Indian, we've got the V-nickel, 
Let's see if we can get us a good set. It's a 1920, about eight inches deep. Let's call that an Indian head. Let's live dig an Indian. How about that? Let's do it. I hope it's an Indian. It's got the depth and it has the tone. Let's just see if it has the green color that I'm looking for. Man, I am pinpointing where it's just so terribly. No, it's going to be something else because it's going to be very shallow. Well, that other Indian head was very shallow too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that'll ring up that same number two, that's a piece of copper. All right, let's keep going. I got another signal, but it's, it's just jumpy. It's right there. It's going to be 11. It's right beside where I dug. You can see my plug coming up right here. It's where I dug that other V nickel a while ago. I wonder if there was, I checked my hole, there was no other signal. I wonder if there's another V nickel in here though. Let's see. Very well could be. Good signal right there. A little bit deeper. A lot of trash in this yard. Let's see if I just missed a V nickel. I had a V nickel spill. Sure enough, look at that. Another V nickel. Wow, I missed it. It was a V nickel spill a while ago. There's the V right there. There's the V. Let me clean this up and uh, I'll get back with you on the date. Alright, it's going to be at $18.99 in great shape. I checked my hole when I dug the first one up right here and I didn't hear anything come back. I was just making another sweep through and it always helps you to go a different direction in your, uh, in your detecting. And that's exactly what I did, $18.99. I love it. A V nickel spill. But I love it when you get a spill like that. $18.99. I'm checking it again for a third one. Uh, I'm going to go back through here a different direction see what we come up with. So let's get a picture. We ain't got a silver yet. So let's keep looking for a silver. Two V nickels and two uh, Indian heads and some uh, other knickknack stuff. Let's see if we can get us a silver. Well, we moved on to the backyard. Didn't find anything else in the front yard. And I'm getting a 29 to a 31 here. And so let's uh, let's see if we can get us a silver quarter here. I've already dug one piece of trash out of here, so it could be just trash. Let's see what this is going to be. Okay, still in the still in the hole a little deeper. That's a good sign. Yep. I feel it, but it's not a coin. Surely that's not ringing up. That's something else. That's a, a nail. All right, maybe it's over here. Oh my goodness, do y'all see that? Do you see that? Hunter, that's not gonna be a quarter. That is gonna be a half dollar. Oh my goodness. Surely, is that a coin or is that a token? What is that? 
I see an eagle flying up. That's a half dollar. Oh my goodness. Hunter, come here. I don't believe that. And I dug it live, dug it too. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's time to break out the holy water. Are you serious? It was a 28. It was a 28 29. Is that a. Uh... And, a, and a, the. had a big old nail in the hole with it. And so I dug the nail out over here and I reached back in there and popped it out, and that's what I got right there. Is that a Stan Lamperty or Bart? I don't know. I, have, I don't know. I uh, I was waiting for you to get over here, so I got the holy water out. All right, that's going to be a that's a barber. That's a barber hat. That is a barber half. I guarantee it's a barber half. Oh <laughs> right there. my gosh! A 1908. I'm out of water. Barber hat. Check that out. Now you're like, I wish I wouldn't invite him. Preacher digger to my, let's get in the sun. I gave you the wrong half of the yard to start in. Check that out, guys. <laughs> That's unreal. That is unreal. So you could hear the high tone? Oh, yeah. Clear as day. Jumping. Clear as day. It was a high tone. <clears throat> Let me wipe it off here for you guys. Look how old these coins are coming out of this. 19, house. what is that? 1906. 1906 Barber Half. And it was a live dig. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a quarter. Oh, congrats, man. That is awesome. But you can't complain, brother. You dug a Morgan dollar today. <laughs> you got a Morgan. There may be more out here, so let's keep swinging here. Let's get a picture. And that's what I love about the Equinox. Y'all saw me dig this big old iron nail out. Either it's this one or another one. I put it in my pocket. I don't know which one it was, but it was a big iron nail. And then that. I cannot believe that. Boy, I'm glad Hunter invited me up on this property. That's two V nickels, an Indian head, and a barber half. And he's got a Indian head and a Morgan dollar. Not on this property. He dug the Morgan on another property. Not too far from here, though. And uh, man, check that out. That's just unbelievable. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on rolling with it. Maybe another one out here. house where we got that uh, barber hat and we're back over here not too far away we have this park we're going to hit today uh, then we're going to move on to a vacant lot vacant a lot. vacant lot and then we got an old house I think it's what 1860s 1865, 1865 but it's been hunted many many times so we're going to just see if we can find anything left over over there as well so hopefully we'll find a few more things when we do we'll put our camera on it we'll show it to you so let's get the sweet well, we moved on from that other location down to another vacant lot here. And uh, that's an old gas station right up there. And Hunter just dug this up. That's an old key. It says DTEX on it. You ever heard of DTEX? Can y'all see that? It was chained on. Check out that key. That's neat looking fine, man. Thank you. Congratulations. I'll have to uh, do some research. Do some research on that one, see what that might be. relic of the video yeah. so let's keep swinging maybe a few more out here I'm over here 
Not this huge pecan tree that they had cut down. That's some good barbecue wood right there. And getting a real jumpy signal right on top of the ground. I can see it on top of the ground. Check this out. It's right there. I'm being an amusement token. It's right on top of the ground. Crab tree. Amusement? Amusement token. From the uh, jamboree up there. Yeah, they have a big jamboree in this city. Probably come off of that. They used it for the games and the rides. All right. Got a token out of the deal, so let's get a picture and keep rolling. Well, right beside it, well, about two foot away, was another one. Let's keep swinging, maybe another one in here. I dug this crab tree a while ago, and when I was rechecking my hole, there were still some signals in there. Check this out. So this will be number one. Here's number two. Here's number three. Here's number four. And here is number five. Five tokens. Little token spill. I love it. Even though they're not old. There's a yamboree in this town, a carnival festival thing in the fall. And I don't know when it is, but uh, probably was the game tokens here. Somebody had a pocket full of them. Maybe a few more back in here. I'm going to check down this fence line. All right, we moved on to this 1865 home. I'll show you the front of it in a minute when I get over that way. I'm just walk, working down this uh, side strip. Get a 36, 37 at four inches deep. And got an old watch. It's not gonna be that old, but it's gonna be something there. Let me clean that up and let's see what it says. Nope, it's just gonna be a modern day watch. I was hoping it'd be a pocket watch, I mean, an old pocket watch or something. It was digital. Oh well, let's keep going. 1865 Harrison home. We're out here in the front yard. I'm working the sidewalk strip on this side, Hunter's on the other side. I got a 27 signal. Popped it up and I've already cleaned it up. It's going to be an old vintage button. Nothing really, really old, but I'm going to say 60s maybe. I don't know. Maybe older. All right. Maybe maybe a good coin out here. So keep going. Well, Hunter's calling me over. It's kind of a necklace or some type of fob. He say it's ringing up as a 21. A macro macro bid. Surfer, can you read what's on the bottom? That's exactly what I was trying to make out. Let me get out my holy water. Maybe we can. Yeah. Yeah, here's my brush. You can see what that little, little stuff is saying. Anything? I think it's just like a design. Oh, okay. I have to look that up, what macro bid is. Looks like it's got a, a necklace top to it. It's got to be like a fob. Like a keychain fob is what I would yeah. think it would be. Yeah, I would say... I would say it's a keychain fob. No, oh, that's writing on the bottom. It's got to get it in real small. Let's see what that uh, what that says. Anyway, hey, there you go, man. We'll end the day on that one. The second half of our hunt wasn't as good as the first half, but hey, we got some we got some good stuff. So we we come up over here across the street from where the old house was over here, and didn't find anything but modern stuff. I think we're gonna call that a day. Go shoot a wrap up, show you everything that we found. And uh, then we got one more house across the street that we're hoping, I'll show it to you, right 
there. I wonder if I can get a gazette there. Hopefully we can get on that one here in the, this week and see what we can find over there. So I'll see you guys at the rest of the Well, that's going to call it a day for us this video. We had a pretty good time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And found some good stuff right here. And uh, the second half of our hunt, which was today, which was a week later from the first half of our hunt, wasn't near as good. But we still found a, a few good keepers and, uh, and stuff. But you never know until you get out here what you might find. So uh, we got everything laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what we found. This is just my trash. This is uh, Hunter's trash is in his truck. And I think he threw it away too, didn't you? Yep. Already. But uh, here are my finds. I found uh, four, five token spiel. These are not old tokens. They're just uh, probably from the Jamboree Festival that's held every year in this town. Um, found a an old watch it's not too uh, too old no digital watch makeup compact um i don't know what top it is but anyway it's probably uh, 40s or 50s i found uh five quarters one dime and five ten fifteen pennies found uh old button and some type of other type of brad or button right there there's nothing on the back mark of that but that was found right in the, in the front yard of the uh, 1865 home. Got an 1886, I think, uh, Indian head penny. Got a 1910 and 1899 V nickel spill. Uh, they were right there. I dug them separately, but they were in the same hole. Uh, my best find of the hunt is this 1906 Barber half dollar. And I love it. I love it. Here's Hunter's finds. He got him a, a brass uh, water nozzle, a little toy car, a water lid, a meter lid. I uh, got him a cool macro bid pharmaceutical keychain fob, and then a really cool key. And this is a what's it called? A Detex? Uh, yeah, it's a Watchman's uh, watch clock industrial key, uh, possibly related to the warehouse yeah that was there check out this key guys i've already you've seen the in the video I already put a picture up in the of the history of it but that's a really cool looking key bringing up like a 29 you say 27 somewhere yes, around there sir. and then he found him a uh 1890 is it 1890 1890 indian head penny and then the find of the video check that out 1880 Morgan silver dollar and we got these two big silvers in this video. What a what a time, but look at that boy How thick that is it's a big coin. Yeah, it's a big coin makes my little half dollar look small <laughs> But yeah, man got us a good good finds right there. Yeah, that was a fun hunt. Yeah, so there's all the trash And there's all the treasure and like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go up to some old historic homes and find and lay out on your tailgate. The greatest treasure can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Till we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.